we pulled this up because we labeled uh, the title of this panel bank versus non-banking lending in the US. So this gives you an overview while you guys are studying these figures. <laughs> I'll do the same, Jeff and Raf. Maybe short introduction on your firm and what you're doing and what part of the debt space you're playing in. Jeff Fastov, I'm with Phineas Capital. So our, our strategy is to be very broad, deliberately. We want to have a capital solution up and down the capital stack across stabilized assets, value add assets, development assets, unless we have a natural disadvantage. Like we can't compete with banks because we don't have deposits and we're not a trading shop so we don't do CMBS. But we do unlevered, mezzanine, um, preferred equity and even common equity and a different strategy. We're focused on the US right now. We're expanding to Europe in credit we're in North America and Europe on the equity side, and um, <clears throat> we're very focused on development assets because that's kind of our core DNA from the equity side of our business. Raphael Fishback, uh, Mesa West Capital. Uh, we were founded in 2004. Uh, I co-run the platform. Uh, real estate debt is all that we do. Uh, up until 2018, we were a private company. We were acquired by Morgan Stanley, so we've been under that umbrella uh, since then. We you know, operate you know, simply, almost exclusively out of, out of the US and on, on our platform, focused on making loans up to 70% you know, loan to cost, loan to value in both the transitional and core plus space. Current book is uh, roughly $10 billion. Challenges, 18 months, have you had any, Raf? Uh, great question to start out with. Uh, <laughs> so I, I think about the you know the challenges and challenges looking backwards and you know and and going forwards. Uh, clearly, as many people have talked about here, uh, particularly in the U.S., office has been the um, the the key issue for any legacy loan book. Uh, you know, l a lot of similar things to be said. Um, so maybe I'll just take it a little little different in terms of what what I think is ultimately going to happen for you know for call it, you know, two, two and a half years, you know, the whole, you know, just the word office was, um, you know, basically treated badly. Uh, nobody wanted to talk about it, deal with it. I think as we evolve into the next phase of the market, you know, in terms of what ultimately is going to happen, I think you're going to have a bifurcation of, of the assets. There are certainly several, you know, uh, buildings, loans, whatnot, that have been performing all through this time, right? You know, cash flowing, continuing to lease. Uh, we call them prisoners of the moment, right? They're, <laughs> they're, you know, they're there, they're performing well, but there is just literally no exit via either the capital markets on the loan side.